Oh, what's going on over here and welcome to Anno 1800. So super excited because first of all, I have actually never got to, uh, I've never, I, this is a game I really want to play and I never, we never got into it. And I'm super excited because not only are we getting into Anno 1800, um, it is now available on consoles. So it's available on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S. And this video is sponsored by Ubisoft. So huge shout out to Ubisoft for sponsoring this video. So uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into a fresh new game. I played just a little bit of it to kind of get it, kind of get a feel for it. So I'm going to go ahead, hit up the new game. Let's go ahead and do the campaign. We're going to, you know, we're going to have fun with it. Um, there is also some Twitch drops going on. So I'll have some, uh, I'll have a link down below if you guys want to get more information on that. And um, there is, I think there's like two exclusive items for the console edition, not on PC, sorry. I know I play on PC, but uh, console edition's out. That's the whole, that's the whole excitement here. So uh, yeah, super exciting stuff. Let's go ahead. I'm going to use the more guidance for now because um, I'm not a huge, I'm not huge into this. Um, and then let's see what we've got as far as people. You know, I feel like this guy right here is here to make money. Um, yeah, that's that's the guy. I feel like that's the guy. Oh, and we absolutely well, hold on. Let's let's see what else we got. There's a koi fish. That's super cool. We could be pirates. We're not gonna be oh they have this is actually kind of cool. Um let's see. I you know, I really want to go with um I I really like I really like this one. I really like that. I mean, like he's even got the spectacle. Uh, and then we'll go with, should we go with a cyan color? No, we'll go with black. We'll make it like dark and dreary looking. Okay. And then I believe, so I do have all of the access to the extra content. However, I'm not going to play with that just because um, if you guys play for free and you want to check out the game, because right now from March 16th to March 23rd, you can try the game for free. I'm just going to play it with the base content. Now, uh, we could come back in and add this content and I think enable or disable this content. Please note this choice will be permanent for the save. Oh, okay. So if we decide we want to do that, we'll do that. But we're going to, we're going to start just fresh, fresh and new here. And oh, did I pick my, ah, oh, I didn't pick the name. Back to player name creation. Hold on. What was his name? Bram Ridgeway. Um, no. All right. His name is going to be Pip McScoots. <laughs> I like that. All right, Pip McScoots. <laughs> he looks like a Pip McScoots. <laughs> let's go ahead. Let's hop into the game. So, um, basically, what this is, I'm not gonna compare it to anything, but it's a uh, it's a city type builder game. There's a little bit of a story with it, which is kind of cool. Like not a lot of city builders, you get a story, but there's a little bit of story here. Um, so I am going to go through the story very briefly in the beginning because there's there's a, a pretty decent like intro part. We'll go through it briefly uh, and then we'll get into the city building because that's what I'm really excited about. I'm really excited about the city building, getting people all happy and like designing a city. I'm, I'm really excited about this. Since that day you saved my life. I have oh, yes. I knew we have saved your life. But now, a thousand letters from your father go unopened. Yet one scribble from your sister changes everything. Yep. I didn't even know you had a sister. We have a we sister. We are broke, old pal. Apparently, this we guy right here is my best friend. Passage back to your I saved, his, I saved uh, his back life. to your family. And now he has a life debt. Not unless you suddenly remembered what work is. All right. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to do a couple things real quick. Um, basically, what we're doing here is we are just getting enough money to head back to uh, back home. So we're just going to we're going to get some dynamite and we're going to go dynamite fishing. Yeah, because I mean, dynamite fishing is. <laughs> a thing <laughs> it's fun all right so let's see let's get let's get some fish here uh let's go out here maybe oh we're gonna miss that first one we're gonna, oh maybe not and yeah we a missed it with a spear would be faster. all right there's some some cooked up fish you do this is this is a really interesting way to start the game i gotta say it's it's pretty funny uh and then right here Boop. got him all right so now we have enough money. Now we can head back. Now we can get into the story a little bit. But essentially, um, what's going to go on here is we're going to head back. Yeah, we do have an eye for opportunity. I know. I know. I'm such a. I'm. Oh, he doesn't like the smell of the fish. Um, essentially, what's happened is our father was the uh, the ruler apparently. Well, then there was like a coup, and like they said he was a traitor, and he wasn't a traitor, and then he died. Then. Like now our name is like, you know, terrible, horrible, awful, and none of it's true, all this stuff. So we essentially are going to be building our own area. Here are your tickets. Hurry, drifters. Take it to the old world. Thank you. Nobody wants you to. 
So we're gonna take this boat to uh, back to our home world, and uh, yeah, we're gonna attend a funeral. So this is it. Yeah. We're leaving paradise behind. We're leaving paradise behind. You it does look like fun though. They look festival. They look festive. They look like they have a good time here. serious about this, aren't you? No matter. All right, let's do this. I made a vow to defend you, and I don't break an oath. Even if a blind man could see you leap into the deepest pit of dung. Okay. All right, chapter one. And again, like I said, this video is sponsored. So thanks to Ubisoft for providing me with access to this game. I'm super excited about this. I'm super excited about it. Um, all right, so here, establishing a here is our land. Island. This disheveled island. So this whole land right here is going to be ours. Oh, there's like Let rivers Uncle and stuff. <gasps> what is this? A Clay? Island, yes, but Copper. Tall like father, Clay. Look beyond appearances. Limestone. Okay, cool. We got some uh, we got some stuff here. Shelter the good loyal people who have shown solidarity with our family. This debris. Okay, so we need to get a marketplace farmer, 10 farmer residences and then we need to attract 50 farmers. So, let's go ahead and let's get a marketplace down. Now, I think what I'm going to do, can I rotate? Uh, that was not the rotate button. <laughs> can I rotate this? All right, so we've got a marketplace. Uh, we can rotate it. You know what? Actually, long ways like this works out pretty good. Now, what I want to do is I kind of want to keep things away from the shoreline because I feel like we're going to have like industry along the shore uh, doing some stuff. So let's go ahead and let's place this like, I don't know, maybe right there. And then let's see. We need to go ahead and build 10 farmer residences. So let's see. Uh, we've got, I'm trying to look at where we're going to have things here. You know what, let's have the city start sprawling up into here, into this area. And like I said, we'll try to keep the um, the industry the down here, maybe. All our facilities are able to deliver the goods oh, we gotta, we gotta get a road going here. Is Please that centered? The situation. Yes, okay, I'm gonna try to keep things as centered as possible um, because I, I wanna take my time and like do things as nicely as I can. Okay, so we have that. Now, uh, we gotta get some houses. So we gotta get 10 farmer residences. So where do we want our first residence? Because they need to be semi-close here. We also have to keep in mind that we need to be able to build other things as well. So hold on. Actually, let's finish this square off right here. And then... So there's that. I'm trying to decide if we're going to have industry. Maybe we should have industry going down here into this area. Because, I mean, we're going to eventually hit the mountains over here. There's nothing really over here. So, yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's build houses and stuff like that over on this side. But we'll kind of keep them up in case we need to do industry um, over there. So, farmer house. Let's go ahead. We need 10 of these. Okay, so let's do... Do I want these, do I want these right next to the... I don't really think I want them right next to the town square. So, let's do one. A new milestone. Two. Three. Four. Now we need to do, I'm trying to keep in mind how many, like a block here. So if I do three. So if we do, actually, let's do this. We'll do that. We'll attach a road here. We'll attach a road here. As you are so desperate to appear responsible, you'll be pleased to hear the cost of that fantastical funeral. There we go. To you. So we have our market here. We've got this here. We have room in here for maybe something. I don't know. Miserly Attracted le or 50. Oh, dastard. gosh. Picking and choosing what he inherits. Uh, apparently, he didn't want to inherit the bill from the funeral, but he wanted to inherit all the good stuff. So. We'll be needing okay, so now we need a lumber yard. So I'm not exactly sure what the the hundred percent house means, and the the I mean the amount of wood looks good, right? I'm gonna guess that's some like the amount of how many trees are gonna go in that area. So like thirty five, thirty seven, thirty eight. But then it's weird if we get over here. There's like none. I wonder if that's how many trees they're gonna have to plant. Oh, it could be how many trees they're going to have to plant. That could be. Okay, I want to keep that kind of away from there. Maybe we'll put it. You know what? Let's do this. Let's have it at like a, a medium number. We'll have it at 24, 94%. We'll have that right there. And then we got to place a sawmill. So we kind of want it next to it. But I, I'm thinking maybe I'm thinking maybe we just have it like right next to it. 
Oh, I see. There's only a so this area right here is no good. See, Something's going on here. Wonder, Edvard, Prince, and Bright Sands. So maybe we should have Oh Samuel's child, this Mr. Evergood speaks of a bold new era for good and sons, nobly bearing the burden, word. terrible oh, traitor oh, brother oh, dropped at his door. Maybe we'll have this over here. In his favor at our and father's expense. Because it needs to be relatively close. You know what? We're gonna just set it right next door. I don't Timber. even care. Very good. I'll now the coffin. Oh, I should have lined it up right here. Darn. Alright, so let's get these connected up here. And then That's not super close to the market, is it? But that's okay. We'll go to like that. We'll do something like that. Okay. So build a small warehouse, connect to the trading post um, or warehouse via street. So we need a warehouse now to store all of the goods. Can we just stuff that right? Oh, that's perfect right there. And then we'll connect this to Father here. wouldn't have wanted us to sit on our hands while our one prospect was in such a state. You know, I guess we could maybe get rid of that road right there if we needed so to. So let's gather our townsfolk and ask them to spruce the place up. And then we could uh, we could just do this. I don't know. Um, all right. Clear ruined residence district. Select object. Um, relocate, copy, demolish, upgrade. Sawmill, sawmill. I'm not actually sure. Oh, here we go. After 10. Okay, can I can I clean this? Oh, it's already going. More hey, look at that. Used. Now we have others for company sibling. Now we have more timber. Yeah. It's a hard day of labor for us all. We should cater to our tired You know, I got to say this game looks absolutely gorgeous. Like, I mean, the details and everything look so nice. Like the houses, like the little rocks, the little, little people walking around, they got their little clothesline out. Really cool. Um, okay, so let's see what we got here. Now, timber needs to be stored in either trade post or warehouse. Make sure the sawmill houses are connected to one of these. Yes, I already did that. All right, so now what are we doing here? Uh, yeah, timber is on its way down. I know, I am aware. I am aware. We are right now planting the forest. And then Had no warehouse in range. It. It's right here. Oh, it's because um, we I don't think this is actually built yet. Yeah, this isn't built yet. So we have to wait till we actually build that. Uh, but we need to build a fishery. So we have our houses there. Let's have our fishery on this side. And yeah, we'll try to keep it lined up. We we'll have a fishery going down here because I mean you don't want you don't want to live next to the the smelly fishery, right? <laughs> I mean, there's already some smells coming out of these houses. I'm sure that's uh, not the freshest thing in the world. So, adding the fish smell on top of it, I don't know if we do the fish smell better. Uh, build small warehouse. Okay, so we're kind of just hanging out, I think, for now. Every fishery. Oh, do I need to connect it to a road? Oh, I just assumed that it was already connected to a road. Oh. My road just got a lot more expensive. That's a concrete road. How did I get a fancy concrete road? I guess maybe it's because it's connected right here. I have no idea. All right, so let's see what our notifications are. Game saved. New buildings have been unlocked. All right. Ditchwater is such a such a quaint settlement. All right, so how are you guys looking here? Okay, so they're processing a log. Sawmill production. They need more wood. Okay, so we're working on it. We're working on it. And then they're going to get planks. Okay, and then the planks. See, the, that's the thing. is, I think we're waiting on planks here. Oh. Promises to be kept. Oh, it was already. It was in blueprint mode. Okay, I had, to, I had to hit the button to confirm it. Storage is shared throughout all warehouses. Once a good is delivered to a warehouse, it becomes accessible to the whole island. Oh, that is so nice. So if I build multiple warehouses, they all share the same inventory. So, oh, that's really nice. So like one warehouse isn't full of food and like everybody over here is starving because the food is so far away. I really like that or, you know, vice versa, whatever. So, okay. Small tr 
Uh, small trading post. I'm not sure what they want me to do here. Um, no trade. Buy and sell. Sell and buy. I don't want to do any trade right now. I think we kind of need to hang out and let the... Um, I think we need to let our planks in our wood start filling up here a little bit. Now, one log. I'm actually kind of curious. So one logs turn into timber. Do we need to be storing regular logs though? I'm not actually sure. Oh, look at that. I am negative 90 monies. Uh, the result of your income minus your spending. <laughs> Darn it. Um, oh, I didn't even notice they had fences around these houses. So maybe I should be selling? Oh my gosh. This one house can hold 25 people? Holy moly. Um, okay, why did I... I built... It said... I could. It said build 10 houses. <laughs> Um, I mean, that's 50 people. That's 100 people. This e this is 100 people, 100 people. Holy moly. Can't wait till they start building up, though. It's going to be super cool. This is going to be so much fun. Um, yeah, we don't need to worry about happiness. Happiness is a minor thing. Happiness is a thing that uh, you get when you are not starting a town in a civilization. So, you know what? I'm, I think it wants me to make some money here. So, I'm going to go ahead for the timber. I'm going to set a minimum of stock of 20. And then I'm going to sell it to save. So once it hits 20, once it's above 20, it'll start selling it. And it sells price. Uh, can I, can I change the sell price? I can't change the sell price. Okay. So I guess we'll just sell that. I don't know. I think that's kind of maybe what's telling me because, uh, we don't have, uh, any, any money. <laughs> oh no, we do. We have tons of money. But our, our balances. Oh, is that because no, the result of your income minus your spending. So we're losing 90, but we have 72,000 to start with, but we're losing. Okay. Um, do we have any other buildings that we can start with? We need more farmers, small warehouse, farmer roads, maintenance cost is 40 money. Uh, that has 25 workers. We have 40 workers currently. I mean, you know, I almost feel like a uh, beautification menu. <gasps> oh. I feel like maybe some more timber production might not be a terrible thing. You know what I mean? Uh, how much does timber production take, though? It's only five people. It gives us one... 15 wood every 15 seconds. Oh, yeah. See, we're not actually going to have any logs in storage. Um, Maybe we should get another... I mean, it's not telling me to. But maybe we should get another logger. It says 100%, but I don't... The Oh, there's a mine right there. Maybe we should just go ahead and throw another... Uh, throw another a logger in... A logging camp in here. I'm just thinking that maybe we could have this one over here is providing planks and then this one could actually be providing logs. That might not be a terrible idea. Of course, this looks like farmland right here. You know what I mean? You know what? We'll throw it right here. We're going to throw it right next to... We're going to throw it right next to this guy. We'll keep, we'll keep it up front. That's fine. And the reason we can do that is because, oh, yeah, go ahead like this. Uh, the reason is that we'll have, that we will have some trees up front, you know, on the island here, uh, and then we can we can always continue on because I think, I mean, there's a range here, so we could probably still put buildings right here. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> that might have been a terrible idea, but then we'll get some more people in here. That'll get us some more workers, and then we could probably go ahead and actually start. Um, hey, look at that. At 29 sell price and then let's go ahead and do logs let's do um 20 as well you know what i probably honestly should do more than that so we can hold a max of 75 so let's do um let's do a 45 on maybe all of these 
before they sell and then fish uh what does it say how do we know how many f how much fish we need not 100 percent sure oh here we go Current potential is three, supply demand. Um, current demand is zero. Current potential is two. Okay. So we don't have any demand for these yet. Interesting. Sort by profit. Not, not very profitable. Okay. I feel like I've been stuck at 80 farmers for a while. Is there a, is there a reason? Oh, okay. So if you fulfill the needs of your residents, more will gradually move in and work closed, basically need not, need not demanded. This so, is the way the farm is right. hobbledy hoy, hobbledy hoy. This is the way the farm okay. is right. Okay, all right, hobbledy. all right, lady. <laughs> These look good. Um, they're, at, they're at eight of 25. This is eight of 25. So I mean I guess they're I guess they're looking good. Farmers plus three plus three, coins plus one plus one. Um, so I guess we'll just leave them. I still feel like I've been at 80 for a while though. You know what? Maybe I should just build more houses. <laughs> Maybe I should just build more houses. Uh I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna build more houses. And we'll see what happens. Oh, you know what? These houses over here. Hey, look at that. 86 now. Okay, so maybe I did just need to buy build more houses. Um, oh, and it says it's increasing. Moving in. Two of six. Oh, supply improving. Okay, so we have to supply the new houses with the new foods. Okay, let's go ahead and head, speed it up a little bit. So let's see if we can get up to 100 now. We should be able to get up to 100. We just added, what, six new houses? You reached. Hey, we did start. it. All right. You can now have move multiple objects at once. Use the move tool and drag a rectangle around the objects you want to move. Move um, objects that are moved to an invalid location will be destroyed. Oh, we can move. Help enough to demolish the larger oh. ruins. Let's breathe some life into this place. All right. So we're going to take out these ruins now. Uh, you need more people before you can demolish these ruins. Wait, where's the ruins at? New buildings have been unlocked. We've got, oh, work clothes and oh, schnapps. <laughs> Everybody loves schnapps. All right, so this is our old village place. Okay, so what do we need for this? Schnapps, we need a potato and then a schnapps distillery. And then we need a sheep farm and then a framework knitters. Ooh, this is exciting. It's been a long, hard day. All right, let's grab some timber. And maybe wet there you can now move multiple options okay so let's go ahead and since we got a timber deal right here let's go ahead and let's keep the uh let's keep the trend going here so potato it doesn't even tell me oh you know why it's because i probably have to set up the farm huh all right so let's do um we'll put that there now, I'm not sure how this works. We're Potatoes. Uh, zero of 72. Okay, so this is what I need to do here. So 30. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. Look at that. 72 blocks exactly. Oh, that's so perfect. All right, so we'll go ahead and expand that over there. Now, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and... Um, I don't really like how I did this part right here. This, like, this isn't, this doesn't, I just don't like that, but we'll just deal with that later. Okay. So we did that, but now we need to do a schnapps distillery. Do we want that across the street or do we want that? Oh, see the further we have to take it. You know what? That might not be an issue in this game. I see. I don't know. Can we throw the schnapps? Like we could just throw it right here. Um, actually, what are the odds? Can we just fit it right in here? Uh, maybe we don't want a distillery right there. 
You know what? We'll put it right here next to now. Hmm. <clears throat> I don't know. It's kind of a smaller building. I'm thinking like, oh, we should just squeeze it in when we can. Let's just. Oh, but if I want a road going this way, and I really want one main road, probably going out this whole way. You know what? We'll throw the schnapps distillery right here, right across from the wood deal. Why not? All right. So now we need to come up with a sheep farm and a framework knitter. So let's look at the sheep farm here. So it has like a range of. Okay, so let's see here. I'm trying to think. I mean, we could put it right here next to the potato farm, or we could have it like right on the other side here. The only problem is these roads right here. And this is going to like this area right here is becoming our main area for stuff. Uh oh, oh no, they're not happy. People aren't happy right now. All right, we're going to put a... Um, sheep farm there and then next to the schnapps guy oh shoot we need to move this uh can i move this i forgot it was in the zone of the um of the of the mill of the the forester right there okay so we'll put that there and then this guy we'll put that there and we'll try to remember that that's the forestry i forgot this whole area is forestry so that'll work there. And then we need to go ahead and connect up a road. Uh, we are going to cut through the forestry right here, but that's just to go to this sheep house right here. You need a warehouse, you do. And then one, two, three. There. All right. How is our warehouse? Is it like full? Are we getting full on anything? No, I don't think so. Uh, oh, we're getting full on timber, though. Are we not like exporting the timber? Minimum stock, 45. I, maybe we're not... Oh, we got maintenance. History production. Just working conditions. Change productivity. Happiness of farmers. There's zero. Working condition. Change production rate of... Changing production rates affects happiness. Okay, so if they have to work harder. So these must be getting... Are these getting built? Oh, we don't have enough people. That's our problem. We don't have enough workers. Uh, yeah, we're not even close. Eternity since the funeral and the cost. Oh, why it was extortionate. So I need to go ahead and get more houses here. Maybe. We... Maybe we should. What does this guy want? Produce goods and deliver here. Not exactly sure what it wants me to do here. Hmm. Oh, he wants me to have um, four schnapps in storage. Well, we don't have any schnapps right now, so you're just gonna have to wait. Okay, um, so we need to get more houses. So let's see. Okay, so this is our whole housing district over here. You know what? Maybe we should, uh, let's do this. Let's maybe put a couple houses in over here. Well, that house, or, well, they already have a house. That house is there. That house is there. Maybe we should do another little, a new little housing district. You know what? Let's just fill in these areas. Uh-oh. I made a mistake again. That's in the, uh, that's, that's right in the middle of the forest. Okay, I gotta stay away from that area. So you know what? We got quite a bit of money. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do this just for just for layout and planning. I'm gonna go ahead and put in the roads. I wanna put a long road in, like all the way up there. And all the way up here. Just so we can keep this like main road right here. And then I'd like to have like a nice grid, you know, of roads going like straight through. The problem is I kind of messed myself up here a little bit with... Oh, that almost lined up. That almost lined up. Go in there. Okay. 
So we'll kind of, I want to keep things in nice little grid patterns just because like, you know, things look nicer in grid patterns. Okay. Ornaments can now be found in their very own menu. Browse it by clicking here. So temperate forest. Um, creates natural patterns of individual trees and forests. Oh, so I can go ahead and make things look pretty. Oh, okay. That's cool. And then what is this? A modest park opens the overview for this category. Oh, very interesting. All right. We're still not making any money. I don't think <laughs> stop storage. Uh, oh, we got a pub. Oh, we have a fire station now. Okay. Hold on. That's going to be a necessity. That's going to go right here. That is perfect. That will reach absolutely everything. What a fantastic spot for that. And then a pub. Oh, a pub. Yes. Um, do we even have any schnapps right now? I don't think we have any schnapps. Hold on. Oh yeah, we do. Yeah. Here you go. Have fun. Don't think you're finished, brat. Enjoy your, enjoy your schnapps. Okay. So, well, we gotta get a pub in here. We gotta make the people happy. Should we put the pub on the, the pub should be on the ocean side. But if farmer's smocks are all you have. Oh, now he wants me to have four work clothes. Oh, we haven't even started. Oh yeah, we have started work clothes. I guess we could put this in the middle right here. I feel like it should go like towards more towards the residential side. You know what I mean? All right, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna move these two houses right here. And we're gonna move this house over here. And then this pub is gonna go right here. That is too perfect of a spot. Covered and desirous to proceed. Set them to it. Too perfect. Much space as we can clear. Clear desolated church district. Is that the desolated church district? Heck yes, it is. That's actually gave us more room here too. Okay. So let's go ahead and increase our road. That looks good. Oh, the pub provides a service to our to your residents. Oh, they're going to be so happy that there's a pub. <gasps> Look at how happy they are. They've got a band playing. They got a play. They got like two bands playing. Three bands. Oh, man. That looks like so much fun. Such a good time. All right, so we need uh, find your cousin leading a mob in the vicinity of Edward's great exhibition construction site. Ooh, holy moly. Okay, so here's the old city. Oh my gosh. Talk about a giant city. Find your cousin leaving a mob. Keep out. None of your business. Leaving a mob in the vicinity of the ex. Okay, so. Does anybody see a mob? Oh, right here. I found him. We'd rather die than stay. Our flag still uh, find a rioting mobs in Edward City. No oh, so we have to find. Oh, we, it's, a, it's like a find game. I, I miss finding games. <laughs> okay, so we need to find uh five riots. So there's, oh, oh, I found one, two. Oh, this is exciting. It's like a mini game. Oh, I hear him. Three. There's another one. Four. Where's the last one? Oh, there's a huge group. Okay, we did it. Away from Edvard. We're on board. Uh, we need a ship. Uh oh. Select the editor. It's my poor aunt's legacy. Select the editor and his crew at Edward's Harbor. Select the editor's ship at Edward's Harbor. Okay. Everybody on board. Good. I, I shiver at the thought of staying here another second. Oh, so is this going to give us a whole bunch of people? No way. What? Has your cleft of the family no shame that it now resorts to abducting my workers? <gasps> the Queen's ambassador. Oh, himself, snap. Place. We just stole your people. <laughs> oh, what the heck? 
abduction is a severe Sir Archibald Blake. We didn't abduct and anybody. If I may, uh, excuse me, a false one. We left Edvard quite willingly. Ah. That's a polishing popinjay. I should have been rid of you long ago. I see nothing criminal. A bit this of this area is really cool. Familial bickering is only natural, <laughs> and hardly a matter for the crown. <laughs> oh, look at this garden. You, I have quite forgotten my manners, Sir Archibald Blake, ambassador and confidant to the Queen. Despite the circumstances, Her Majesty and I were pleased to hear of your return. Your father's death was a tragedy. We regret he never had the chance of a fair trial. The real tragedy here is the vast funeral bill that goes unpaid, while this brat is living the life of O'Reilly. Sadly, your uncle has indeed alerted me to some uh, floating F liabilities. Floating liabilities. I fear you have no choice but to settle them if I am to grant you your crown shipping license. Edvard registered the debt officially. Wow. Don't worry. That old tyrant can't hold us back anymore. Cousins coming in. Once my letter press is up and running. The truth will come back to haunt Edvard. Uh, for your hospitality, please use my ship howsoever you may wish. Now that sounds like good news. Oh, this is going to be good. So we're going to start our own papers and we're going to... Oh, the truth is going to come out. And Edvard. Oh, we're going after Edvard. <laughs> Wait for Edvard to contact you. My but the debt... But it may warm Her Majesty's heart to see a new enterprise taking shape. Uh, that's what we're working on. Have, uh, have clothes in storage. Okay. How's our people looking here? So we've got, okay. Labor pool is 211. Maybe Edvard will try to prevent us owning a shipyard. But for now, let's at least house those workers. Okay, but we need to house the workers. All right. So upgrade to worker residence. Cream of the crop. So we need to upgrade... You oh, age of industrialization. Oh, this is super. Okay. So, oh, we're going to get cobble roads and bricks and stuff. Oh, snap. This is going to be exciting. Okay. So can I do this again, though? Workers can handle stubborn debris on ditch water. Oh, that's if super exciting. Now, it needs to be immaculate. Okay, what are we gonna do? Uh, remove. Oh, we gotta remove so some more stuff. Passionate young reporters enlisted. Our publishing house is already well underway. Clear abandoned smeltery. Where's that at? Oh, right here. Okay. A shipyard is impossible without plenty of qualified hands. So we need to attract 150 workers. And clear the abandoned smeltery, which is what we're doing. Uh, wait for Edward to contact you about the debt. Okay, hold on. I want to see. What's going on? I think it's this one. No, not that one. Uh, is it this one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Production. Okay. So we are producing. Demand is for. Okay. So fish current slash potential demand is one. We're producing two. Potato. See, we should have a potato demand. But we don't. Because this is using potatoes. Something. So that's kind of what I'm trying to figure out here. Is like, do I need to start making multiples of these buildings? Hand over the clothes. Do we have clothes? Uh, yeah. There you go. Ba ba black sheep. Have you any wool? Yes, sir. Four yes, bags full. Sir. Okay, yeah. You want... Four bags full. All right. Do you want wool now? Is that what you're saying? Okay, so this is this is tons per minute. So is this all in the rating of tons? It must be the rating of tons per minute. So I guess we're good. I just don't understand the potato. Oh, now the potatoes. Okay, so two of two and two of two. Um, so we are. They need two and they're demanding two. Okay, so that that makes sense. Actually, you know what? I could probably see all this from here if I go and click on this. This produces. Potatoes every 30 seconds. This consumes potatoes. 
or and this makes schnapps every 30 seconds but it doesn't tell me how many potatoes it, it, it requires so that's what i'm trying to figure out i'm trying to make sure that i have enough things going that i don't need like multiple clothing places multiple schnapps places because we are going to need more as you know as more people come in they're gonna they're gonna want more stuff so like these houses back here i mean these are all good right now but are they going to remain good you know what i'm saying as i get more people we're gonna have the same production so we're gonna have to increase that at some point um but i'm gonna go ahead and just leave that for now let's actually look at our, our warehouse here so i have zero potatoes in stock um six schnapps so i feel like oh we have 25 farmer workers and we have 20 actual workers oh i need to attract 150 workers okay so actually, if I just go through and upgrade these houses. That'll probably get us our workers. Yeah. Uh oh, but we're losing farmers. The section is sure to grow along with your city. We are fine tuning the first issue as we speak. So the problem is that we're losing farmers and we're gaining workers. You reached a new milestone. Oh no. So you almost have to have like the districts of the farming people and the districts. Okay. So we almost have to have different districts here. Okay, this is this is gonna be interesting. So what we need to do now. We are running low on timber. Yeah, we're running ruins. we're running low on like everything now. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and get this road. Your worthless bags have barely covered. What is this? Everything. Even the local hermit gave up his refuge and fled. It's not like you have any use for them. So we need to go ahead and we need to expand our uh Clearly, uncle's no. intention is to keep us from ever owning a shipyard. We need to go ahead and start expanding out our uh place here. So let's go ahead and let's get some more houses up front here. All right, so we got more houses. I need to get more farmers is the problem. Uh we cut through a lot of farmers. So we're going to go ahead and get all these this built, this built. Oh, these need to be moved. Hold on. No, 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 no. Wrong. Incorrect. Okay, so then we're in blueprint mode. Can we go ahead and just build these? Oh, we're missing timber right now. Okay. So yeah, we need to go ahead. We gotta get more. Um, we gotta get more houses in here because we lost our farmer workforce because we upgraded them to uh workers, and now we need. Oh my gosh. Uh, red tide double jump. Okay, so we need to get people into a shipyard. Yeah, see, we have no, we have no workers, actually. Uh, you know what? We're going to do this. We're going to have to downgrade a little bit here. I'm glad that's actually an option because I, I just literally worked myself out of people. So we got to get more farmers in here to then get more workers to then get. Okay. All right. So we, yeah, we got everything figured out. Oh my gosh. This is super cool. I'm having an absolute blast, but that is going to end it. Thank you so much for coming out. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did like subscribe, all the fun things again, huge shout out to, um, to Ubisoft, uh, for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much for that. I really do appreciate it. And if you guys want to check it out, make sure you use the link down below. And like I said, the game is actually free to try from March 16th to March 23rd. And then, um, you know, Congratulations, console players. You know, have PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and S. Uh, super exciting stuff. So leave a comment. Let me know what do you think. And uh, do you want to see some more? Because this is, I'm not going to lie, this is exciting. I'm having an absolute blast and having a good time here. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, see you in the next one.